Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. We're back working on the Brown and Sharp one and a half milling machine. Now, in cleaning it up, and in doing that, messing around with the gearbox for the power feeds. This has power uh, sideways and forward and back. Uh, this is not going in all of the gears, and sometimes this one goes into something and doesn't seem to affect anything but and I've wiggled it a bunch you know and turned it and I get to go into a few but it's not going down here at all so before we get too involved in the rest of this machine I figured we should uh pop it open take a quick look see I'll start by taking off this cover and we'll look in there and if need be besides taking off this handle it doesn't look like it's going to take too much to get uh, into the face of this. Of course, some of this stuff does not look uh, original to me. So maybe someone has been in here already. <laughs> I mean, it has like, I've gotten like three of the speeds to work, so it is functional. But I'd like to see what's in there. So let me get set up. Let me go grab some tools. And let's start investigating. Okay, I got the handle off. Just had some set screws. Same with this. I drained the gearbox. There's a plug down there. And unfortunately, about three cups of water came out of it. So that's less than ideal. So now I got, I think it will slip over this collar right there. Maybe. Get these loose. One. Yeah, someone has definitely been in here before. And somehow lost some screws. Now all the shafts should be supported on the other side, so nothing's going to go cr crashing down, or nothing's going to be super heavy. Yeah, all these screws are super loose. This wasn't sitting outside or anything, it was in a shop. So hopefully it's just a matter of, and the, there's three speed ranges for every position of that handle. As you can see there from the plate. And it's very random which ones work. I got about a third of the speeds right now. Or feeds. It's easy to slide past that. Okay, yep, yeah, yes it is. So something is obviously amiss. Hopefully... You always hope with stuff like this, it's a sheared pin. But it's it's crazy how random that stuff is. Let me give it just a little. I got some gear oil coming out of it. Okay, it's coming out as. stuff to stay in there if I can. Okay, we're moving free there. Uh, let me get a, grab a soft little hammer real quick here. Okay. 
sure you stay back there. A wiggle. Some more wiggle. That side's already out. Nope, you guys stay in there. <laughs> I can already see more gears than I could and I don't see anything broken yet. fetched up on there we go okay okay so now I see more into the meat over here so that's sliding I don't know how this is gonna turn Oh, it's, I'm turning the machine by hand. I'm looking for damaged gears. Things not turning. It's binding up a little bit because it's loose. So it looks like there's only one gear here, okay? It can only click in to these two gears when this is twisted. Push those into mesh. And then, so those three gears, so it is engaging on all three, but what I don't get is that's only giving me six speeds. Six, yeah. Unless this is a oh, and I misspoke. It's, it's not a pump. It's the uh, handle. Let me put the handle back on so I can manipulate it. Because it has a keyway. There's a nub in there. It's turning there, and it kind of kicks out. So this must, that would give me the 18 speeds if this was like a three speed deal here. And I looked in the book and didn't see, unless I missed it, um, anything on this. Let me, well, besides that, looking in here, there's no broken teeth and everything's turning good. So that's, nothing else we inspected this and we'll clean it up let me go look at another couple manuals and i will uh i will rejoin you these teeth look okay this one's got a little bit of wear the rest of them look look really good you see you can tell there's been writing on there a little bit okay let me see what i find Okay, the issue has been resolved. Again, it's always nice to tear stuff apart, and especially now I know there was water in there. So what it is, there's some detents in here, and it has to catch on them, and it wasn't until I sprayed it and ran it, just spun the thing by hand, and kept spraying it and spraying it. So now, it's all the way in. You can see, focus on the speed of that gear right there. So that's 
slow there. And you turn it and you'll hear a little right there. See, now it's turning much faster. And then, well, there we go, even faster. So the mechanism that was in here, it catches on these little openings. Uh, it was all gummed up. So I sprayed all that and now it is working. So this is kind of weird because it shifts. There's only two positions for a given set of the lever. There's only two positions it will engage. And then if it's like in here, you know, this will, this sector stuff will be up further and won't go past it. That's why it wasn't moving. So, um, I'm sure there was probably a tag on this at some point that said that. That tag is missing, as is that sight glass I showed you. And then, yeah, I'll get this all cleaned up. But while I was in here, I spun every gear. The gears are awesome. This is the one has the most wear, so that's probably the most popular, but it's still a very good shape. We'll get it all cleaned up and lubed. And yeah, very, very cool. Oh, and I also tested the, that lever there. You control the as up for left, down for right, and middle is neutral. And that all works. So again, very cool. Now get this all cleaned up and not have to worry about that for a long, long time. This is Adam from Small Time Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.